Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video. This time let's talk about this Nokia 8.1. Finally, our wait is over and this device is receiving the Android 11 stable update. So in this video, let's talk about the new features that have arrived on this device with Android 11 and if there is anything missing, okay? So in this video, I'll try to cover everything that I've come across after the Android 11 update. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos. And if you're already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. I have already updated my device. Let me show you this. If you go to settings here and then about phone, then here Android version 11, you can see this if you tap here. And after that, you have to drag it like this multiple times to see the number 11. Okay, so this has been updated. Now, if you haven't received the update yet, then what you have to do is simply go to system and then advanced here, system update, you have to check for the update notification. Now, it may be possible that some of you will receive it up to some time or some of you have already received it because it is rolled out in, you know, uh, in stages. So it may take some time for some of you. So have patience and wait for the notification. So now let's check on the change log and we'll see that what they have mentioned as new. OK, what's new? Manage your conversation bubbles. These two are related to notifications. Then one time permission. This is related to security and privacy. Then Google Play system update. This is really very important. We'll be talking about this. Then last one is Google security patch March. OK, so let's start with the features now. So first of all, let's talk about the notification categories. Now, if you scroll down, you will see the category of, uh, you know, notifications here. Now, the notifications are grouped under three categories. First one is conversation where you'll find all the messages that you have received, you know, on WhatsApp or in messaging apps. OK, now after that, you will have general notifications and at the bottom we have the silent notifications. Now, there is one option which is new here. If you tap on this one history, now it will take you to this section where you will find all the notifications that you have received. So this is a kind of history of all the notifications. Now, how to turn this on? What do you have to do simply? Uh, go to settings and then apps and notifications here you have this option notifications and there you can set this on okay now this is how you can do it now another thing which I found interesting here now if you scroll down and check the notifications now you can see that messages are grouped under one section notifications now you can set priority like if you want to see you know messages from a particular person on top of all the notifications then what do you have to do simply tap and hold there and prioritize and if you want to silent messages from a particular person you can do that as well suppose i have set the priority here okay now whenever i receive messages from this person that will be shown on top of all the conversation here you can see this now if you go to settings let me show you this settings and then apps and notifications here so i have prioritized messages from these two people so these will be shown here now this is something which can be useful for those who you know receive too many you know messages and they want to see messages from a particular person at a time so this can be helpful so what do you think about this feature let me know now let's talk about the bubbles you know what you have to do is simply go to settings and then here apps and notifications again and then notifications and bubble okay you just have to turn this on in general if you want to get the bubbles for all the apps and if you have to set for particular apps then you can do it individually as well suppose I have done it in general now suppose I am receiving messages so you can see that I can select the messages like this okay I can check and I can reply as well okay so this can be useful for those who really you know like to do multitasking on their devices and this can be useful yeah, while watching videos or, you know, chatting with someone or while surfing through Instagram or FB. So I think this can be useful. Now let's talk about one permission setting here. Now this is uh, really important because nowadays we use a lot of apps on our smartphones, right? And sometimes we actually forget to uninstall those apps that uh, we don't use. Now this setting is going to help us, okay, to restrict, uh, you know, access uh, let me show this if you go to privacy here and permission manager suppose uh, suppose you want to set restriction for contacts now these are the apps which are allowed to access my contacts now suppose this is the app whatsapp 
now if i want that uh, if i'm not using this particular app okay for some time then restrictions will be put automatically now how does it work simply go to this option and then scroll down here remove permission if app isn't used so if you turn this on what happens like uh, if you are not using this app for a month or two months then what happens that all the permissions will be automatically removed so this is one really good addition to protect the privacy uh, of the user so i believe that this is a good addition now let's talk about the very important element here the google play system update this is one step taken by google to keep our device more secure now what you have to do simply go to about phone and there we have this android version here is the option google play system update now what you have to do simply check for updates now these updates will ensure that your device is up to date and more secure so if your priority is data safety then you must check it regularly and install the updates regularly so what do you think about it let me know in the comments now let's talk about the things they have not mentioned on the change log the very first thing is something that we've been waiting for the screen recorder now if you can't see this in the quick tiles then what you have to do simply click here to edit and there you will find it here okay simply drag and drop here and after that you can use it now it is very simple to use simply tap here and it will start recording the screen whatever playing okay on the screen now the good thing is that now you have this option to record both microphone and device audio okay both so that's really really good for the android users particularly the stock android users next thing is the quick media access that we have received with android 11 update now to activate this what you have to do simply go to settings and after that go to sound here okay and there we have this option media player turn this on now if i play music or anything else using any streaming app okay any music here suppose i'm playing this amazon prime music now if i scroll down here i can get the you know quick access okay now here i can play pause next you know previous even i can select the device where i would like to play the music okay i can pair any other device as well okay so this is also useful if someone is there who listens to music a lot okay so this can be handy according to me so lastly let's talk about one change the way we can take screenshot now suppose if i want to take screenshot here of this one now simply i have to drag and hold a bit like this drag up and hold now you will get this option to take screenshot simply click here and the screenshot will be taken now you can share the screenshot from here or you can edit the screenshot as well now this is very uh, i can say easy okay instead of going here yeah to take the screenshot or hold you know uh, pressing the buttons here so this is really i can say quick okay now let's talk about the things which are missing on this one okay and the first one is related to this screenshot let me show you one thing here suppose i have this uh, google pixel okay now if i want to take screenshot along with the screenshot i also have this option to select okay so this gives the option to select all the text anything that is there on the screen okay so this is really useful if you have to copy certain text from the screenshot which is missing on this one another thing which is missing if you go to wallpapers okay we just have the option to change wallpaper this ui has changed a bit but we don't have other options let me show you this here if i want to change the wallpaper here i have other options as well like styles grid okay the grid option has come with android 12 because this one running on android 12 but styles other you know things are there from android 11 okay now nokia 8.1 is missing that as well another thing which is missing on nokia 8.1 is the suggestions app suggestions let me show you this uh, if i go to home settings there we have this option suggestions yeah here you can see this now what it does uh, if you open any app at the bottom here it will show you the suggestions app so you can quickly access those again okay this is also missing here on 8.1 another thing that i really like uh, 
in Android 11, which is not there on 8.1. Let me show you this. If you go to, you know, sound here, okay, uh, there is something called now playing, which is not there here. Let me show you this here. Okay, if you go to settings, uh, simply go to sound and vibrations and there you have this option under advanced um, this one now playing now this feature actually uh, works like a kind of history of your songs that you have listened to you know on your different devices different you know music system around you which are connected to the same wi-fi okay so it also helps to recollect songs that we have uh, you know heard uh, recently so it helps really but it is not there on this one 8.1 so these are the you know some things which are actually missing on this one and uh, yes uh, we can't do a, do anything about it right so i believe that nokia should actually work on their own ui particularly to provide certain you know features okay for example it is really annoying to get the notification when we start call recording on google phone app this is something that some of you may want to have and i really you know think that nokia should work on their own ui to provide certain you know features like what samsung is doing yeah otherwise it's really really dull you know instead of uh, having this uh, if they can you know provide certain other ui features which is not available with stock android or which is you know not uh, allowed to provide if you are using stock android yeah so what nokia should do uh, they should work on their own ui and uh, you know um, they can obviously restrict ads yeah but they can add features so if there is no ad and we get all the features that we want then this can be really good for nokia users i believe so what do you think about it let me know in the comments and these are the things that i have come across you know uh, after the android 11 update and if you have come across anything new which i have missed out let me know in the comments and uh, as usual if you end up liking what i do in my videos then do subscribe and do share your thoughts in the comments and do provide your feedback if you don't like it okay so that we can make things better here so till the next video guys cheers